whatever you think I am, I am not that. I am solely a consciousness expressing itself through this vessel. Now look, bro. Come on now. I know why y'all clicked on the video. Like, come on, bro. The Matrix is literally feeding us bullshit that nobody or the people who even created it aren't feeding into. They are feeding us this bullshit so that they can program us so that we can do what they want us to do. And when we grow up, we don't even realize that we being programmed. Like, that's crazy. But last night I had a crazy dream, my guy. For a while, I was not even gonna be making YouTube videos no more. I wasn't gonna be on social media no more. But whenever I connect with my higher consciousness, I'm always thinking about creative ways to make YouTube videos or things that I need to say to help other people. So that's how I truly know what my passion and what my sole purpose, my sole mission is here for me to do. I'm supposed to help those lost souls that are stuck in something they don't even know they're stuck in. That's just like saying you walking into the desert, right? And that's the only place you've ever been, but you don't know that outside of the desert, there's something better. Well, if you come into a neighborhood like this, when you got trees and you got grass, you feel me, you vibing. But if you only live in a desert, then that's the only thing you're gonna know. Just like this, bro, think about it like this. If somebody lived their whole life with their face right beside the toilet, they gonna become used to that shitty smell, right? That's all they gonna know is that shitty smell. And once they leave from that shitty smell, they gonna realize that shit smell like some shit. But now it's already too late. Hopefully it's not because you feel me? Most of the people who watching my videos are like between 30 and younger. So like, I hope that y'all catching my videos at the right time. But I believe that the universe does thing in a magical way. Every, everybody who's supposed to see my video sees my video when they're supposed to see it. And I create my video when I'm supposed to create it because I just go with the flow of life. I don't ever just plan shit or I don't never just do shit. I just let my soul do everything for me. So look, in today's video, I want to talk about this matrix. And look, bro, you got to realize if you aren't programming yourself, somebody else is or something else is. So what I mean by that is if you aren't aware that you in a video game, then the player who's playing the video game for you is just going to be playing it for you. But if you in a virtual reality and you wide awake and you know that you in a virtual reality, you're going to be able to control the things that you do in that virtual reality. But if you put the head goggles on and you get lost and you're like, holy shit, this feels so real, which this is what it is. It's a virtual reality. It's not real. But a lot of people believe that it's real. But once ever you, whenever you die, you're going to wake up like, damn, that wasn't real. No, nigga, it ain't real. Just, just think about it like this. All right, look. You is in a motherfucking video game. You playing that shit, having hella fun, my nigga. Hell, having hella fun, just going around blasting shit and not having a care in the world. But whenever you sleep, just think about it like this. In real life, you go to sleep, right? Now, whenever you sleep, your subconscious mind take over. Now, what do I mean by subconscious? Your conscious mind is what you do actively. You feel me? Your subconscious mind is your internal realm, your yin. Yang is your out external realm, which is what you see on the outside. Yin is what you see on the inside, everything within you. So whenever you go to sleep, you enter your yin realm and your subconscious mind takes over. Your subconscious mind makes the dream for you. Your subconscious mind does everything for you. But if you don't even know that you're in a dream and your dream feels so real, bro, Think about it. Whenever you in this dream, it feels just as real as this reality on the outside, except for you're in a dream and you can motherfucking fly and shit. But in that time, in that instance that you're in that dream, everything feels so real. Like you can motherfucking fly and you don't think like, oh shit, I'm not supposed to be motherfucking flying. That's why you're supposed to be flying because you're in the dream and you believe that I'm supposed to be flying. So you motherfucking flying. So look, if your body dies, just think about it. What the fuck is your internal realm gonna do? Not shit, it's gonna continue to do exactly what it is because there's two different dimensions. There's two different realities, but both of the realities are real whenever you step into that reality, but neither one of them are fucking real. 
But your yin, your internal realm is more real than this shit. Because that's more of your mind state. And this is what we are closer to being is a, a gas. A non-shapeless or a non-shape, a shapeless form of a gas. It's just our mind, our ideas, our concepts, our things are those are the things that are real. But once ever, whenever we come up with an idea, then we react to it on a physical level. But you got to realize that everything started up here. And if we didn't have this vessel, then we were just doing everything on a mental state. So if you're doing everything on a mental state, then you won't even need to have a physical body. That's why we develop these bodies so that we can come here on this earth in order to experience physical reality so that we can experience things with other things that seem to be real, but they really aren't. None of this shit is real, but it is real. It's so real that you don't even realize that it's not real. You feel me? Like, that shit deep, bro. That shit deep. So, what I mean by this is if you're in the internal realm or the external realm and you're being programmed, everything is programming your subconscious mind because your subconscious mind is what's in control of your reality. So, when you watch TV, when you watch motherfucking bullshit TV shows and you're feeding your, you're feeling, you're feeding your, your vessel with junk, right? you eating bullshit foods, you motherfucking doing all kinds of bullshit, you ain't doing nothing to actually progress your true soul mission, right? You're just feeding into what everybody else is feeding for you. So you eating off of somebody else's plate when you got your own motherfucking plate over there that's motherfucking empty because you ain't spent time to go put food on your own plate. So now you spe you feeding off of somebody else. And all they're going to do is continue to feed you the scraps. They ain't going to ever give you the full motherfucking steak. They're going to give you half the scrap. Half the motherfucking shit. That's what I do to females. You feel me? I give them half of my time here. I give them half of my time there. I don't never give no female my full attention because I know that if I feed them scraps, they always going to come back. You feel me? And that's the same thing with you on your subconscious mind. These people who are aware that they are in this reality, they're using it to their advantage. They feed you sports. They feed you motherfucking social media. They feed you damn TV shows. They feed you movies. And the funny thing about that is that the people who feed you these things give you the real thing behind the scenes, but you too sleep to even realize that, okay, I'm watching this TV show right now. And this TV show is what's going on. Like, I'm gonna say Divergent, bro. Divergent is a movie whenever you go to sleep, you get your superpowers. Whenever you go through this thing, you get superpowers. Whenever you go to sleep, motherfucker got superpowers. And then it translates into the real reality, just like the Matrix. Whenever Neo motherfucking transformed, he, his, this is what it meant. Neo transformed and turned into one, one eye. Whenever he turned into this one eye in the second movie, your motherfucker had superpowers and shit, right? Same motherfucking thing about real reality. Where do you think this inspiration comes from? You can't just create shit with your mind that has never been that never happened before. So if you learn about the brain, you learn about the whole entire fucking world. So look, they feed you these things in these movies, but motherfuckers think it's entertainment. It's not entertainment. They are doing this shit so that they can um, send their messages to their motherfucking people so that their people can understand the message because they're able to decode the message but us being the people who they deem as being lower vessel lower society they expect us to take it as entertainment that's why movies get two millions three million in the first week you feel me and motherfuckers feed off of it but don't see the message behind it everything in the matrix is part of the matrix so you got to realize that you got to be able to decode these messages it's signs and symbols that we go through every day like you see this dude up here the motherfucking sun yeah that's y'all jesus christ <laughs> they put it on signs and symbols everywhere the people in the freemasonry people the people in secret societies created these symbols well they got the symbols from ancient egypt which are my motherfucking ancestors which is me my nigga i'm a motherfucking ancient commit but we ain't even gonna talk about that but they got these people they got these signs and symbols from my ancestors and then they created it and translated it but it's still the same thing bro it's still the same shit bro it's all the same shit. The sun is Jesus Christ. Motherfucking, the church is motherfucking Jesuits and shit. Motherfucking, all this shit is the same. It ain't nothing different. It's just that people don't realize it. So you gotta start reading books, bro. Or go within. Everything is within you. You gotta think of it like this. This is the last thing I'm gonna say. All right, so we have, our human bodies were here before computers and shit, right? So 
how the fuck you think they created the computer system off of our mind so everything that we have within our mind everything that our phone wait everything that's in our mind our phone can do that means that everything our phone can do our mind can do because they built the phone off of our mind so frequency vibration and energy is everything you don't need your phone you don't need to be on fucking social media because that's all they're doing is motherfucking keeping you away from society the only reason i'm on social media is to create content so that i can express my mental capacity to other people because that's what i'm supposed to do i'm supposed to break niggas from the matrix and i realized that last night in my dream that i'm supposed to break niggas out the matrix but i'm not sitting on youtube or tiktok scrolling all day trying to find out what's going on what I'm really doing is sitting my black ass in this motherfucking grass, sitting in the trees, motherfucking meditating, motherfucking doing things to help me increase my spiritual spiritualness. Well, I'm not even spiritual. I won't even say it like that, but it's my life. You feel me? My life. It's a way of life. It's not spirituality whatsoever. It's life. Y'all got to realize that. Stop using new age. It's not new age, nigga. This shit been here for millions of years. Shut the fuck up. It's y'all new age. Shut the fuck up. It ain't no new age, bitch. This shit older than you. This shit older than your mama. This shit older than your grandmama. So whenever y'all want to say new age and he's spiritual. No, I'm not. I'm fucking life. I am the life, my nigga. The life. Not spiritual. Shut the fuck up. So what I mean by that is continue. Bro, absorb nature because you a part of nature. Quit thinking that you not no animal because you are an animal. That's why they control you because they understand that you are an animal and you think that you're higher than all these other animals. Look, these birds, watch. All these birds and shit are you. You were a vessel like this one time. At one point in time, you were one of these birds. But now you have developed enough critique in your mind, enough intelligence in your mind to develop a body that looks like this. That's it. That's the only thing. And we are the same thing as them. And motherfucking cats are smarter than we are. So y'all want to keep saying the humans are the fucking type of the, the hierarchy. No, bitch. Cats are. Them motherfuckers are the most spiritual animals in this bitch. So, yeah, man. I just want to let y'all know. Continue to live life. Consume nature. Being in the sun. Sun gaze. Live life. Motherfucking vibe by yourself until you figure out what you're supposed to do. Because... That's what I had to do. I had to cut off everybody, bro. Even my family. I live with my family, but I don't even talk to them. Like, I don't give a fuck. Bitch, I got to learn who I am. That's like, it's not selfish. That's real life. So with that being said, program yourself. Don't let them program you, bro. I'm out. One love.